of a building. On today's video, we're going to talk about an interior modification that might be slightly controversial. Yeah, look, so we're a solutions company. We try to come up with solutions, and the best solution is the one that you can do yourself. Uh, and so we wanted to jazz up the interior a little bit. We have this uh, rather bland tan leather uh, interior that this uh, Lincoln had. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. Yeah. But it does not say 70s Bronco. No, it doesn't at all. In fact, why don't we walk over there and show them. Yeah, well, this what, is what, what 70s was, Bronco yeah, means. 70s yeah, 70s Bronco, it's, um, well, it's just awesome, right? It is awesome. And a matter of fact, it's so awesome that it's extremely expensive. Matter of fact, yes. I, uh, I reached out to a friend of ours. A lot of you probably know uh, Solomon Lunger. And, uh, and I said, where can we get replacement upholstery? Like, this is the deluxe. You can tell we weren't prepared for this. <laughs> oh man, it's really in there. It is actually. It's, it's wow. Stuck it's like amazing. Chuck. All right, we're just gonna have to. It's about, it's about to get real. It's about to get. Oh wow! So it's the latch. Yeah. There it goes. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not even I'm mad. I'm impressed. Okay. So yeah, so this is what it was like, and it's gorgeous. And I was like. So, then where can we get a replacement upholstery for this? And he said, oh, yeah, I know just the place, because I didn't know. And I almost, uh, you know, I almost sucked my, my coffee down my, my windpipe <laughs> to get a replacement upholstery. And then you do the upholstery, and we know how to do that. We've, we've reupholstered seats before with a the, with the factory seat cover. Over $2,000 for the front seats and the back seat. And, and I'm uh, like, wow, I really like that, but I don't like it that much. Maybe, maybe for the future... I don't know. You know, we could do something like this in the future. I, I could see it. Yeah. But we wanted to try something. Like I said, it's going to be slightly controversial. And we're not suggesting anybody do this on their, you know, their brand new car, uh, a new interior like that, or even a, a resto mod, per se, with, with something that's going to be a high dollar deal. That's no, not, no, yeah. That's okay, what yeah. we're looking for. So first of all, any of you guys have been following us for any length of time know that we're not into high dollar stuff. And not because we don't like it, but because we don't like owning it. Because when you have something really expensive, you don't own it, and it actually owns you. It requires a lot of you. It requires you to keep it like that. And we don't like things like that because we like being laid back and enjoying the things that we have and not having to worry about shutting the door with our elbow because it's the paint job is a you know $30,000 paint job. So we like to, to build a hot rod that we can just jump in and go and if we want to get out on the track, or we want to tow a trailer, we want to drive it on the interstate too close behind a semi truck, and we're not going to get stone chips or whatever, uh, we don't have to worry about it. And so we look for low buck solutions uh, that, 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 that we can still enjoy, but still have this cool factor to them. And um, so to try to get this look, the other thing that we considered uh, your local upholstery shop can take a leather co seat cover, and we could have removed these seat covers and taken them to them and had them reupholster inserts for us. And that's another thing that we could have done, but we already know by experience that that's going to be over $1,000 as well, uh, because we did that on the Recaros for the Trans Slammed. Turned out very well. Really nice. Yeah, and really I, still, I love those. Yeah. Uh, and they're, and they're, they're durable. Yes. Uh, but, but with this, we said, you know, we only have, I mean, we, we, we don't have that much money in this build. And, and to just do that one thing would... Would, would increase it by a large percentage. So he said, instead of, instead of uh, reupholstering them, if you're familiar with, like, for instance, uh, a lot of the cars from the 70s, that brocade interior fabric is something that you saw, but you also saw printing on vinyl. So, like, for instance, uh, an old Chevy C10 uh, bent sheet, and we've got one, and, and it has this really cool pattern on, on the vinyl. Um, so I'm sure we can find a picture of one to show you what I'm talking about. And, and any of you that have owned one that's, that's been around for a while know that that, that printing on that vinyl, it's really cool, and it, but it wears a little bit. And so we're thinking, let's just do our own print, per se. Um, and so this, uh, the secret to the print really is some of the, is some of the nice uh, uh, interior dyes that, that have come out. Now, used to be you had to go buy SEM interior dyes, and we bought those in the past, and they're really good. But the fact of the matter is, that the marketplace has responded uh, to all the plastics out here in the world, and they make all these paints now that are plastic friendly. And what that means is they've got a hot, a very hot solvent in them that allows them to grip uh, onto anything that you spray them on, but they still have that same flexibility. So 
I think, uh, did we show them the paint that we're talking about? Yeah, we can. We will. Good. Here, I, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and open up. We've been talking about it. Let's show them what we did. Yeah. So this right here is what we're going to be doing today. And I got to say, we're just tickled pink about it. It, it turned out very, very well. And uh, like Michael was saying, we're going we're gonna to show you the paint that we used and then also show you uh, how, 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 we, how we do this. How we do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, uh, and, and, you know, the idea is just to add a splash of color and a splash of interest to something that was very boring and bland before, but also to speak to that era that we're trying to represent, right, which is this really cool 70s era where they were a little bit more exuberant than they are today. Heck, if you try to find an interior that's got anything but gray in it these days or tan, there's, there are very few examples out there. I know that one of the cars we've always kind of loved the interiors of is the uh, the uh, the GTI Volkswagen. I mean, they always have that cool plaid insert, right? And I, people, I don't know why manufacturers don't do more of this now. I don't know why everything has to be so bland. But And you might be able to think of 10 others that do this now. But but we really wanted to, to bring that richness to this very bland uh, leather interior. Yeah, I find myself getting excited whenever I open a uh, King's Ranch truck and right. it's like in that glove like, leather very dark leather yeah right yeah, that's that's super cool so the paint that we're using like michael was saying it's it's got a hot uh solvent to it so it, it flashes off very quickly bonds to plastic bonds to plastic this is another brand that works really well the krylon fusion yeah so the two big names in the in the industry are basically rust-oleum and krylon and and so now these fusion paints, which once again, fast drying any surface. So you're looking for any surface or bonds to plastic. And when you have that, then you have a paint that's going to respond well in it, to an interior surface. And, uh, you know, we even dyed some some rear oh, shelf goodness. carpet on the on the, uh, on the the horse force. <laughs> that oh, was, yeah, yeah, that, was that, that worked out really well. We, yeah. we've, we've done this several times over the years with our builds to, you know, change the color of some interior piece and it's always worked out mm -hmm. well for us so again we figured why don't we just give this a shot and just see what we can come up with and again i'm pleased with the results so today we're going to show you what we're going to how we're going to do this on the back seats and as you can see we've already taped off what we're not going to hit and another thing that we did before we taped it off is we grabbed some acetone and you're not with the acetone, it's just to clean off oils and things that are kind of left behind that may interfere with the paint bonding to the leather. Uh, you don't want to scrub hard. You want, you want to tread want to lightly with yeah, it. Yeah, you really want to just... Because you don't want to remove the finish that's there. You just want to take everything off. And it does a great job of that, but you just want to give it a swipe and a couple a couple scrubs and then not sit there and let it sit Right, it. don't let it sit and soak. So That's anyway, one of the good things about acetone. It flashes off It really does quickly. flash off quickly. So... Let's just go ahead and climb on in here and let's see what we can do. Man, yeah. look at all the leg room we're going to have back here. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Kind of crazy, yeah. All right. It's going to be almost like a limo yeah. now, type setup. Did we show them the actual masks that we No, made? we haven't showed that yet. Okay, so because I knew, because it, well, if this was a smooth uh, panel, it would have been a lot easier, but because it's pleated, I knew there was going to be some irregularity to, to the uh, the mask being laid down, and so uh, because of that, I chose a pattern that would mask, that would hide the irregularities somewhat. And so the houndstooth is a great one to do. Uh, if anybody has ever seen uh, the 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 pace car interior on a '69 Camaro, I mean <laughs> the black and white houndstooth or the orange and black is beautiful. And uh, so we thought a three color houndstooth would be a really cool idea. And with any of these ideas, you want to push the envelope as far as it'll go, right? And so it would have been a lot easier to do a one-color houndstooth, uh, but we wanted to do a three-color uh, because it just adds more richness to it. But what we did was I, we took the houndstooth design and, and repeated it and made the houndstooth design where they didn't quite touch like they would in, a, in the actual stitch design. So we have some room. When we, peel, when we took this and cut it on our plotter, we peeled it off in one piece, um, it left behind. I didn't have to weed out every one of these houndstooth pieces. So we just left it behind on the backer, and we grabbed another backer because we have that kind of material laying around. And um, so this is what we ended up with. And uh, these are indexed to be one out of every three stripes. 
and that is kind of the uh, a little bit of the the magic of this thing. So one out of every three stripes is right here. Uh, we in the original design we deleted every you know every we we only kept every third stripe. And the reason for that is because we're doing a three color design. We thought about the idea of just leaving the whole thing houndstooth, and we could have stuck it at one time, and and then and then just masked off each stripe. But that also was problematic from the standpoint of having to cover up the fresh painted stripe with 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 tape. So we just elected to do it this way. And uh, like any other project, there's more than one way to do it. But and this way has also proven to have a few issues, not the least of which is. Um, Having to slide, having to remove the mask after the after the first color, and having to move it down to the next, uh, and make sure you keep everything lined up. But that we have we've, we made some provisions for that as well, because what you got to do is you got to make sure that that point and that point are very close to touching. So when I drag it down, we we can drag it past the the color that's there. Well, anyway, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds. Yeah. You'll see how we're talking yeah. about it. But but that's that's the mask. Okay. Well, let's just do it. Let's do it. We want to, this would be no big deal if I'd made more of these, but I didn't. Shame on me. So we're having to be careful and reuse these over and over again. And, okay, can you pull it? <laughs> I'm out of movement. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Sonny, are you serious? Sonny wants to be in the video, Lee. Yeah, I can see that. Sonny. What? What do you say, buddy? You want to say hi? Sonny is our shop cat. Yes. The best animals are the ones that find you. Yeah. And he just came right up to our shop one day as a poor little guy. Just a little bitty kid. His ears were the biggest thing on him. <laughs> and he just <laughs> loves it. <laughs> Sometimes he can be a little bit needy, though, can't you, buddy? Oh, no. Like right now. Like right now, we're trying to shoot a video. Okay. All right, Sonny. I don't want to be like step off, Sonny, but you're going to have to step off. Oh, see, now that's what I don't want to do. Right. Don't want to wrinkle. Well, I don't want to pull it away either, which is what I just did. See that? Trying to... Sonny, you're making this difficult. Okay. Okay, that's going to be about as good as that gets without having to okay now with this application the red is the most difficult color that we're going to have to spray so we want the mass to be as fresh as it can be for the red so i'm thinking that what we're going to do here is going ahead and do both sides red first with this mask okay i like it all right i think Unless you see something that I don't, that that's about ready. Yeah, everything's looking really good. I... Now, worst case scenario, we mess this mask up. We'll just make another one. <laughs> yeah. But it'll just delay us. Sonny, you got to go, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, now, Do this. Some extra masking. Yes, we'll need to go right here. All right. And then this. I'm going to get down in that. I've got to get down in there. That'll keep it safe. Okay. Now, even though we're having to be careful not to get overspray, the fact of the matter is the overspray does come off pretty easily with uh, with some acetone. Yeah. But see, to get this dyed, I got to get down in there. Okay, there we go. Thank you. That helped. Oh, be careful! I don't want to get out. There we go. That's good. That's my future. I see. Mm -hmm. A red finger. A red finger. As you can see, he's not laying it on heavy, heavy. He's just hitting it. 
What you want to do is hit it and quit it. Hmm. <laughs> and when you no longer see the color, the original color anymore, you're probably pretty good. All right. Now. What we want to do here is delicately remove that after it flashes for a minute. Oops. I knew it. Ah, it'll all come out in the wash. I'm a prognosticator. <laughs> okay. So, let's take our handy dandy notebook and dry this. Oh, another thing that we didn't say is satin colors are what you want. You oh, don't, yeah. That's a good point. You don't want gloss. You definitely don't want gloss. Unless you do, which I don't know. You really want satin. Yeah. Satin's really the way to go. You know what? I'm a little light right there. Oh, yeah. I see that now. <laughs> yeah. You mean, also, do this in a well-ventilated area. Actually, don't do it. Just let us do it. Yeah, we've got a, got a fan going. Don't try this at home, folks. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, got the door open. Got a fan pulling. Okay. Now, when the shiny starts to go away, you know this satin. Another thing about the satin is it dries really quickly, a lot faster than the gloss. Because yeah. the whole point of the gloss is it's got retarder in it so that it will not dry fast. And that's why it has that glossy finish. It was able to settle out to a, to a gloss. More reflective surface. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna move over to this one. Yep. But what I'm gonna do is I gotta peel this off without damaging it. Yeah. And so this is part. So of I may the trick. have to put the camera down. You might have to. You might, rabbit. You might. Okay. See, I've already see it's already starting to separate, and that's where it gets. There we go. Now, once again. Because these pleats are here, it makes it very difficult to get a perfect impression. But that's okay, because we chose something that's fairly irregular, which is this houndstooth. And, that's, and so that was by design. That was on purpose, yeah. We it knew if we camouflages any of the irregularities. Right. Or the ghosting, you know, the when you don't have a crisp transference, it's okay. It's a shame that the masking tape is so... Similar. I'm gonna have to go like this because now I've got to pull it out of this hole down here. Oh, see, I left that behind. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, it's all right. It's all right. Like I said, if I just made more of these, this would be not so bad. I could just rip this off and throw it away. But we uh, trying to save stuff. Sometimes we go too far with that. Yeah. I always just thought for sure that this would this would come off very easily. Yeah, and I see when I did that just then, I actually accidentally, accidentally left some transfer on that. We can get that right off. Yeah. Get this out of our way. Okay, so let's go ahead while the mask is still in as good a shape as it's in. Switch places. Yeah. <clears throat> Also, if we were patient, we would just wait for it to dry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. I do. I like that. <laughs> That's good.
Okay. Now again, you'll see some ghosting and overspray here, but that's why I chose the complexity of the houndstooth pattern because once it's all done, most of that goes away. And I can go back, and I did on the, on the front seats, and touch up a few places with a Q-tip and some acetone. It'll take most of it right off. It's okay. about camouflage. That's right. It's about subterfuge. Okay, now, what I'm going to do here... So I'm going to lay this down. We've got a little bit of prep work to do. And this makes this a little more difficult being in here in this confined air space. But okay, so. Oh, man. Okay. We don't have the acetone in here, do we? It's close. How close? There's a great gulf fix between us. Yeah, right. That's what I thought. Okay, it's so. Way over there. So I really need to clean this up. I can get it. Okay. So, a little bit of overspray. See it right there. And, be, and we wouldn't really worry about that right now, but because we're putting foot and color on top of that, we don't want it to be there. But see, it almost takes it away like magic. Look at that. And that's why that's why I know that I've got it aligned and indexed correctly, right? Mm-hmm. Now I come up till that point touches that point. I could just do the brown next, I guess. But no, I'm still too low to do the brown. If I was going to do the brown, it'd have to be up here. Okay. There we go. There it is. You see all the points all the way across there? Yep. Okay, so we'll do brown next. Now, when you see that other echo of the of the uh, houndstooth and the white and the cream color, then you know we did pretty good on our alignment. There are some issues with it, but I'm pleased. Our twisted references. You know, they're probably already going to be freaked out by what we're doing. <laughs> All the uh, Corvette owners. Oh my goodness! This Can you is imagine a good idea. Suggesting this on yeah. the Corvette form. Yeah, let's put this on the Corvette form. <laughs> Thinking about doing this to my seat, guys. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I mean, that'd be bad, right? I don't want to trigger people like that. No. But at the same time, I like this is legitimately cool. Provoke not your children to wrath, what the Bible says. Mm, yeah, but these aren't my children. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Okay, so. And I'm not trying to make people lose their minds. It's just going to happen, I think. Yeah.
to the bottoms which are easier I think it should be a lot easier a lot easier first of all there's not as many, much of it to do and right. then secondly you don't have gravity fighting you mm -hmm. So, we got it done. Uh, a little bit tougher. It was a lot of work. It and and of if work. we had to do it over again, we would do some things differently. We, we've learned a lot of things. Learned a lot of lessons. We also really pushed the envelope on what you can do. It'd be a lot easier if we just done one color or two tone or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. we wanted to, that's how you learn it is you, yeah. you push the envelope. That's so. right. So, again, we're not suggesting that you do this on your brand new Bronco. No, absolutely. It doesn't need not. it. It's already no, nice. It's really we're trying cool. to make gross stuff nice. <laughs> yeah, this is a 2004 Lincoln Navigator interior yeah. that we're just making work with. Trying to jazz got. it up. Yeah. Because, hey, it is comfortable. We didn't want to spend a lot of money on a brand yeah. new one. And uh, we felt like this would work. And I'm happy with it. I'm very happy. Yeah. So, again, we know that some of you are absolutely going to hate this. And that's okay. That's all we're right. all right with that. And tell us in the comments how much you hate it. And if you uh, really want to find some people that really hate it, suggest it to some of the Corvette people. Corvette like, get, on the, <laughs> get on the Corvette page. Yeah, let, let them know, hey, I found this. I'm thinking about doing hey, it to my I'm thinking Corvette about gear. this nice uh, way to jazz up my, <laughs> my C2. <laughs> oh. That would be good, right? No, what's running on C2? Those, now, that's like, that's like the different levels. That's, right, right. Yeah. I know. But that would Let's, be. You know, C5 is a good one yeah, to there start. You go. And C5. They get, they get, yeah, worse from there. Anyway. Well, hey. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to us, and make sure you turn notifications on. Thanks, Thanks guys.